Appreciate Brother Tim obeying the Lord tonight, reminding us of the soon coming of our Lord and Savior. We used to, as children, we used to play a little game called hide and seek. And after we give them time to go hide, count down, then we had a little saying, ready or not, here I come. And I believe tonight we're at that point where the Bible teaches us there's coming a time he that is filthy will be filthy still. Him that is just, let him be just still. Sister Diane, I say to the Christians tonight, those of us that have been washed in the blood, hold on with everything you got. Amen. Thank God because this thing's about over. I want my loved ones to get in. I want them to get in. But sister, when I get inside that gate, all the former things of this life will be passed away. Whether you make it or not, that's going to be left up to you. I want my whole household to be saved, but I can't afford to let nothing hinder me. Amen. Let's try page 165, Kneel at the Cross. Help us sing that song.
that what he did for you when you knelt before him? Thank God I'm glad he didn't fail to meet me. Hallelujah. Let's, let's sing that, that same uh, page right over next to it, 164. If the world from you withhold all its silver and its gold, and you have to get along with me, good man, just remember in his word how he feeds a little bird. Take your burdens to the Lord, leave it there. Oh, leave it there, leave it there. Thank you. 
before you sit down tonight, some of you has talked about your wayward children, direction they're going in. You know, that old enemy come along sometimes and say, well, what if this happens? What if they get out there and this happens? Amen. The old enemy will torment your mind. Some of you talked about, amen, some of your family that's, amen, addicted to things and habits and different things that's going on in their life. You know, the devil, he'll do nothing, amen, but try to torment our mind. Amen. Saints of God, he'll try to drive you out of your mind. Amen. Thank God, but I like the words of this song right here. Help me sing that chorus again. Brother, amen. Obey the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. Asking Sister Ivy Woods, if you would, to get ready to come and sing us a special tonight while she's getting her thoughts together, because I know she's probably caught off guard as she gets ready to come tonight to try to sing for the Lord. Amen. I would like to 
say tonight, so good to see everybody in the house of the Lord. You come on, sis. Amen. And also, we would like to uh, say that Brother Kinlaw Sr. called me, and uh, their camp meeting is next week, <coughs> starting, I think it's on a Wednesday night next week. And he's asked our church uh, to come on that Thursday night on uh, the 19th. Uh, the 20th, is that on a Thursday night? The 20th on a Thursday night of next week, and I think we've been normally going over and singing at his camp meeting every year, and so they want us to come again this year, and I told him I'd try my best to round y'all up, praise the Lord, and go over there and be with them next week and sing for them in their camp meeting. Brother Curtis Teague will be preaching the night services, so we want you to be a part and go over and be with them in their camp meeting. Amen. So let's worship with Sister Ivy tonight as she's come to say for us. Well, God delivered me. Tell me why should I be bound? Oh, God delivered me. Tell me why should I be bound? Oh, my God delivered me. Tell me why should I be bound? Tell me
come sing us one tonight. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. It's a good question in that song. After what all God's done for us, are we going to let the devil cause us to be bound? Hallelujah. Thank God. He's done too much for us. Amen. We can have liberty in Christ tonight. I appreciate that. Amen. Worship with me. People said I'd never make it They said I'd never see it through They don't know what keeps me going I guess they never have met you the best friend I ever found, voted likely not to prosper, left hanging o'er my head, you'll never count for nothing, that's what most Never 
stayed around too long But Lord, you're the treasure that I was searching for And Lord, I'm still holding on I'm still holding that your testimony tonight that you're still holding on amen thank god i appreciate that song i guess we could all say tonight that there have been some times that we were unsettled there were some times that maybe our foot was not as secure as it should have been david said my foot almost slipped praise god there's been some times along the way we've been sort of unsettled but thank god he didn't just give us up but he kept on dealing with us amen and he's helped us to be able to hold on yeah. hallelujah there's been some times along the way i'll be honest with you there's been some times the devil tried to show me an exit route amen just get off right here yeah. you can't make it, it's too hard but god has helped me amen to be able to hold fast thank god and i believe the scripture said hold fast that that you have amen i appreciate him tonight so good to see you with us as we look into the word of god together in the book of james chapter number four praise god james chapter number four we'll look together tonight and i'd like to start reading if you will with me in verse number six Fourth chapter of James, verse number six. Bible said, but he giveth more grace. Wherefore he saith, God resisteth the proud, but giveth grace unto the humble. Submit yourselves, therefore, to God. Resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Draw nigh to God. He will draw nigh to you. Cleanse your hands, ye sinners, and purify your hearts, ye double-minded. I want to read again verse number 7 and 8. Submit yourselves therefore to God. Resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Draw nigh to God, and he will draw nigh to you. Cleanse your, heart, cleanse your hands, ye sinners, and purify your hearts. Ye double-minded. Father, we ask you tonight, O oh God, to bless, Lord, the reading of thy holy word. Give us, Lord, this morning, tonight, O oh God, the words that would speak, Lord, that would touch a heart and touch a life tonight. We appreciate you, God, for what you've already done in this service, the songs, testimonies, God, all that's been done. We give you glory for it. We ask you now, God, to speak to us in Jesus' precious name. Amen. Thank God. Thank God. Hallelujah. I've been thinking some concerning our Christian uh, walk with God. Those of us tonight that are claiming to be a Christian 
And in my heart tonight, uh, I've, I want to just mention to us that I still believe that in order for us to please God, God is going to require of us everything. Praise God. We cannot hold anything back from the Lord. Thank God. In this, in this society today, we uh, got a church world of people who likes to hear, you know, uh, all about what God can do for them and how much God will give to them. But they don't want to hear too much about what they're going to have to do for God. But I have read to you tonight here in verse number 7. Uh, we quote the latter part of that scripture a lot. But that first part says, Submit yourselves, therefore, to God. Praise God. Submit yourself, therefore, to God. And then we'll look down in verse number 8. He says, Draw nigh to God, and he will draw nigh to you. Praise the Lord. So I feel like tonight that in order for us to be pleasing unto the Lord, thank God, we're going to have to live a life, thank God, to where we are uh, striving every day to give God our very best. Praise the Lord. Amen. God is looking for us to give to Him, amen, our best. We know tonight that God gave His Son Thank God he didn't hold nothing back. He gave his life for you and I that we could know about this great salvation today. Thank God. But I don't want to claim hold on something, thank God, and say that I have salvation and that I am a Christian, but yet, thank God, I'm still walking after my own will and my own desires and, and the flesh, even fleshly desires. Thank God I believe the Bible teaches us, thank God, that if we're going to name the name of Christ, we're going to have to live the life, praise God. And there's some things, amen, tonight that we need to understand. If it's going to cost us, we're going to have to be willing to submit ourselves, therefore, unto God. Amen. Draw nigh to God, and he will draw nigh to you. Thank God. In the book of Hebrews, chapter number 11... The faith chapter, I want to read a few verses here tonight to remind us, amen, what happened in Moses' life. The Bible said when Moses, by faith, when he had came to years, he said he, he refused to be called the son of Pharaoh's daughter, but esteeming the reproach of Christ greater riches than the treasures in Egypt. For he had respect unto the recompense of reward. By faith he forsook Egypt, not fearing the wrath of the king. For he endured as seeing him who is invisible. Thank God. We all know this great even story concerning Moses. And how that the Bible teaches us Moses was born. And he was brought up in his father's house. I believe if you study that, he was brought up for about three months, even in his father's house. But we find in the scripture that Pharaoh's daughter, even went down by the river and she discovered Moses, even in the bulrush. Thank God she took him out, even and brought him back into her own house, brought her back to Pharaoh's house. Amen. Thank God. And we find where Moses was raised in Pharaoh's house. Thank God. And Moses was as an offspring, amen, of Pharaoh. He was as, amen, one of Pharaoh's children raised in the palace. And we can find in reading these verses of Scripture, thank God, that there was treasures in Egypt. Thank God. Esteeming the reproach of Christ greater than the riches and the treasures in Egypt. Thank God. These things, amen, that Moses was raised up with, Thank God, Pharaoh's house, he had everything that you could imagine uh, that you could ever desire and want. If I understood right in studying Moses, amen, was, had access to all of Pharaoh's riches. Amen, Moses had access to the best education that could be found in Egypt. 
Thank God Moses was learned in all the wisdom and knowledge of all the Egyptians. Oh, amen. If, if it was uh, obtainable, thank God it was there for Moses to be able to get a hold of. Anything his heart desired. Thank God. But in these verses that I've read to you tonight, Moses had come to years and he began, amen, to uh, understand, thank God, that there was something more to life, something more, amen, to God, amen, than what he had being raised up in Pharaoh's house. Thank God. I remember reading in the scripture where the Bible said, what man is it first that don't sit down? And count the cost. Hallelujah. Thank God if you're going to serve God. You're going to make up your mind to serve God. Hallelujah. Before you walk that aisle and come down to that altar. Amen. To ask God to come into your heart and life. Thank God there needs to be some things that you need to be thinking about. You need to be making up your mind. If I'm going to come down here and give my heart and life to God. I'm counting the cost. Thank God. That's what Moses done. All of the riches, all of the fame and the fortune, the education, everything that his hearts could desire. Moses made up in his mind, thank God, I'd rather go with God. I'd rather go with the people of God, refusing to be called the son of Pharaoh's daughter, esteeming the riches. Thank God. The Bible, let's read there again. Amen. The Bible said, hallelujah. Amen. Forsaking Egypt. Thank God. Uh, let's look there. Esteeming the reproach of Christ greater riches. Esteeming the reproach of Christ greater riches than the treasures of Egypt. Hallelujah. Thank God. Amen. How in the world would a person compare a reproach uh, to the treasures and the riches of Egypt? Thank God Moses was looking at it through not a, uh, a, a human eye, but through a spiritual eye. Thank God esteeming the reproach of Christ more than all the treasures in Egypt. Thank God he would rather be amen, taken up with God's people. Thank God than have all the fame and the riches of the world. In my mind tonight I was thinking saints of God. Hallelujah. He said draw nigh unto me. And I will draw nigh unto you. Thank God. I thought here, amen, Sunday night, I was so happy to see different ones that was in the altar praying and seeking God. Some that needed to be sanctified. Some that needed the Holy Ghost. And we tear it in the altar and prayed and we begin to seek God. And I, I was thinking, amen, today, saints of God. Uh, you know, in this life, God's put us here. We're part of the world. We're in this life. And we know, thank God, when, we, when it comes to our job, amen, if you are an honest person, you know what you're going to do when you go to work. Thank God you're going to want to do your best for your boss man. Thank God you're going to want to do your best. Amen. Work. Hallelujah. Get promotions in your job. Thank God. Uh, maybe even get a pay raise in your job because of you, your work. Amen. Being faithful to your work. We put our heart into it. Thank God. I noticed that some of you all, and, and I guess I can put myself in that category too. Hallelujah. Sister Alice, you're in that category that I'm fixing to speak about with that beautiful Cadillac you drive. Amen. Some of us has got beautiful automobiles. Thank God. And you know what we do? Hallelujah. We make sure, amen, sister, that that oil's changed in that car. Thank God. And we make sure that once in a while we take it and get it all polished up and cleaned up on the outside and on the inside. And you know what happens when that old car begins to give you trouble? Thank God. And it's getting age on and it's about wore out. Thank God you know what your mind begins to think about? I need to get me another automobile. Amen. Looking after these things. I begin to think about our homes. Hallelujah. How did it seem like? Thank God we got nice homes. But we're all the time got thoughts in our mind. What can we do? Maybe we need a new piece of furniture. Maybe we need to add on another bathroom. We need to do something. Amen. To make our home a little bit nicer. 
That's all of the human part of us. Thank God, but I was thinking, sister, hallelujah, God help us when it comes to our spiritual walk with Almighty God. Hallelujah, if we're not careful, we won't see the importance, amen, of getting ourselves motivated to continue to press forward in our experience with God Almighty. God didn't save us, saints of God, to stay at that same place right on and on and on. Hallelujah. But he has saved us. Amen. And put a desire in our heart that we would love him. Thank God. And we would want to draw near unto God. Draw nigh unto me. And I will draw nigh unto you, saith the Lord. Submit yourself unto God and resist the devil. And he will flee from you. Thank God. Hallelujah. So many times, saints of God, the truth of the matter is the devil's having a heyday and keeping us from getting what we need with God because we have failed amen, to submit ourselves unto the Lord and draw nigh unto God. That's the human part of us. Saints of God, may I say to us tonight, amen, we need to feel the urgency in our soul. Hallelujah. To feel compelled. Thank God not to be happy and satisfied in this same place. Amen. Week after week, month after month. Thank God we're not moving forward with God. Oh, yes. Amen. We're getting farther along in the world. We're gaining more in the world. Thank God. And we're satisfied coming to church Sunday morning, Sunday night, Wednesday night. Doing our little part. But how far, amen, are we going are we drawing closer, amen, to God? Is God drawing closer to us, my friend? There's work to be done in the spiritual walk with God, amen. Just like if you're going to have anything in this world, my friend, it's not going to be handed to you on a silver platter. Thank God you're going to have to put your shoulder to the plow, and you're going to have to work for it. Thank God God can draw nigh to you any time he wants to, but God's not going to draw nigh, amen, until we work, amen, we, the Bible said, faith without works is dead, praise God, amen, there's got to be an effort, amen, we've got to work for this thing, draw nigh to God, submit yourself to the Lord, thank God, and the Lord will come nigh unto us, oh, hallelujah, thank God, thank God, I was thinking about old brother, amen, old brother Moses. Hallelujah. Thank God. Moses raised in Egypt. Moses, amen, raised in Pharaoh's house. Thank God. Hallelujah. But he, he went on, amen, followed on with God, doing the will of God. Amen, just, amen, choosing to forsake Egypt and all the riches of Egypt. Thank God, and God had a work for Moses to do. Hallelujah. Thank God. That old Pharaoh, thank God, had God's people in bondage. Pharaoh, thank God, had Amen, God's people down there under them hard taskmasters. Amen. But Moses, thank God, hallelujah, God had a work for him to do. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. There was, uh, amen, those Israelites needed to be delivered from that, amen, Egyptian bondage. Thank God. And God had somebody, Moses, there. Hallelujah. Moses looked down there at his brethren. Amen. He looked down there and saw them enslaved. He saw them underneath, amen, Pharaoh's uh, 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 hand, uh, amen, of, of uh, he was uh, having them in bondage. Thank God and Moses looked down there and there was something that he saw hallelujah that drawed him. Something amen that caused him amen to draw close to them and understand. Thank God hallelujah. Uh, amen them people down there is my people. Amen them people down there. Amen thank God uh, they belong to God and that's where I want to be and Moses made a choice. Thank God to leave all the riches in Pharaoh's house behind and God called Moses heaven to go and stand instead heaven for the children of Israel hallelujah Amen. glory to God may I say to the church tonight 
Thank God some of these saints of God, some of you tonight, amen, you're saved and you're in the church. Thank God, but can you see uh, this is God's people, amen, this is God's people and we're in, amen, a raging battle, amen, the church, amen, thank God tonight is under attack by the devil. Thank God like we've never seen in these last days. Thank God you you're supposed to be a child of God. Amen. Sometimes, amen, we sit back on our lees. Amen. We sit back at ease in the house of God. Amen. When God needs somebody, amen, to catch fire. Amen. God needs somebody to get under. Amen. Thank God a burden. Amen. Don't sit at ease where you are. Amen. There's people in the house of God. They need you. Hallelujah. They need your help. Thank God they need you to go forward with God. Hallelujah. God saw Moses. Amen, Moses. Hallelujah. God looked at him. Thank God. And God knew the potential that was in Moses' life. Thank God. Oh, Lord, I can't do it. Thank God. I can't go face Pharaoh. There ain't no way I can go, God. Amen. If anybody knows Pharaoh, Moses did. Moses said, I can't go face him. There's no way I can do it, God. Amen. But God saw something in Moses uh, that Moses didn't see himself. Uh, hear me tonight. Uh, thank God God didn't save you for nothing. Amen. God sees the potential. Amen. In every one of your lives tonight. Thank God. And God wouldn't save you, brother. Hallelujah. God wouldn't do the work that he's done in your life. If, amen. There wasn't something that you could do for the kingdom of God. Come on. Hallelujah. Amen. God had Moses right there where he needed to be at that time. Glory to God. Sometimes I think about myself. Hallelujah. I'll to be honest with you tonight, saints of God, as a pastor and in leadership of the church, I'm going to be honest with you. Amen. Thank God. I understand and I see. Amen. I guess maybe as a shepherd, I see maybe more than what other people see at times. Uh, but I see the church facing a raging battle. I'm not just talking about Mount Zion. I'm talking about the church as a whole. Hallelujah. The devil is raging war. Amen. Against the saints of God. Amen. My friend, we need some people of God. Thank God that'll step up to the battle. Hallelujah. God, I just don't feel like I'm up to the challenge. Thank God if you'll meet God in these altars. That same God that let Pharaoh see that bush that was on fire. Amen. That same God that let Pharaoh, I met Moses feel. Amen. That same power of God. And he said, take off the shoes from off your feet. The ground you're standing is on holy ground. I believe Moses felt the power of God. Amen. I believe the hand of God touched Moses. Oh, hallelujah. You might not feel like you're capable tonight, but when you get down to business with God, you meet with God in that altar to my friend. Amen. God can overshadow you with the glory of God. You can get up there, brother, in the human no. Amen. We're not able to do nothing. Thank God. But when we submit ourselves to God, hallelujah, when we submit ourselves to God, the devil has to flee. Amen. Our inabilities have to go. Thank God I can do all things through Christ which strengtheneth me. Thank God. Hallelujah. God can give us uh, what we need. Amen, brother, to work for him. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. Oh, yes, I see myself. Amen. Oh, amen. Thank God I'm just going to be honest with you tonight. Saints of God, hallelujah, I'm not doing enough. Praise God, I'm not doing enough. Glory to God, I have people tell me sometimes, Brother Andrew, you're going to wear yourself out. Praise God, Brother Charles has been getting on to me about preaching revivals. Thank God. Hey, said, boy, working during the day, he said, you're going to wear yourself out. 
Hallelujah. Listen to me, saints of God. If I wear myself out and I die an early death, praise God, let me go down fighting. Hey, man, the good fight of faith. Hallelujah. I don't know of a greater cause. Hallelujah. Thank God. Ah, than to work for God and do the will of God. Hallelujah. Oh, praise the Lord. Thank God I don't want to be found. Hallelujah. They've been weighed in the balances. Thank God and be found wanting. Hey, but when I stand before Almighty God, I'm telling you, He's done too much for me. Save me, pull me out of the life of sin. Thank God I owe Him my all tonight. Thank God I need to be drawing nigh to Him more and more in my life. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank God. Oh, forsaking them things. Moses, glory to God. Esteeming the reproach of Christ. Greater riches than all of that that was in Pharaoh's heart. Oh, hallelujah. Thank God. Help me, God. Amen. To wear, hallelujah. This reproach that we bear for Christ, living for Christ. Amen. Naming the name of Christ in an ungodly world of sin. Saints of God, it should be a honor for you and I. Amen. To be able to lift up the mighty name of Jesus wherever we go in this lost world. Hallelujah. I can remember when I was a young boy, my daddy preached in the streets of Immokalee in Fort Myers, Florida, and down in LaBelle. Preached on the streets, and you know what, brother? Hallelujah. I was just a, young, just a young boy going to school. Hallelujah. And I'd go to school. I'd see them young children. Thank God Daddy would pull up to the biggest, uh, busiest part of town and pull up, amen, and go to preaching. Thank God I'd look out there and I'd see my buddies coming out of the store. And thank God all them from school coming out. And they'd see me out there. Thank God. And I'd go to school. I'd get made fun of. Said, yeah, your daddy's just out there trying to get money. Praise God. Oh, they come up with all kinds of things. Hallelujah. Try to make you ashamed. Amen. Amen. And as a little boy, I could remember feeling embarrassed and being ashamed. Hallelujah. But since I've got older and I understand what happened on that old rugged cross, thank God, hallelujah, he became ashamed. He became, amen, that shame for you and I. As they hung him on that cross, brother. Thank God. Hallelujah. And so the other day when we was in Pembroke and I seen that big crowd, I said, you know what? Hallelujah. This would be a great opportunity. Amen. To share the gospel and proclaim the name of Jesus. Thank God. Hallelujah. And sister, I was able to get up there with all of that great crowd of people coming by. Many of them knew who I was. Hey, preacher. Thank God we're happy for what you're doing. I want to tell you, brother. Hey, man, I didn't hang my head in shame. Thank God. I'm not ashamed of this thing. Glory to God. Hey, man, lift up my voice like a trumpet. Hey, man, let the world know. Thank God. Hallelujah. Hey, man, that I belong to God Almighty. Oh, thank the devil wants us to sit down. He wants us to become embarrassed and ashamed. Hey, man, in this untoward and adulterous generation. But God needs his church. Hallelujah. Hey, man, to square their shoulders back. Hallelujah. Thank God, sister, I'm not on drugs tonight. Thank God. Hallelujah. I'm not in the gutter. I'm not on the back alley somewhere, brother. But there's been a change in my life. Thank God Jesus saved me. He brought me out of the miry clay of sin. Set my foot upon a rock and established my goings tonight. Hallelujah. Thank God. Somebody that sent me a text message last week or this early this week. Hallelujah. They got more money than they can spend. They've been there enjoying the pleasures of the world. They've been enjoying drugs and all the things that they can get a hold of. But they sent me that message this week.
richer with all the money that I have. Amen. With all the pleasures of the world that I have. I need to get my heart back with God. I need to get back in line with God Almighty. I'm telling you today, brother. Amen. Knowing Jesus is a great honor. Hallelujah. We need to lift him up. We need to let the world know that we're saved. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Oh, yes. You go to church Sunday morning. My neighbor tells me this. I have, he said, I've never seen somebody go to church as much as you do. Hallelujah. Amen. It seems like every night near about I'm getting my suit on and I'm going out to my truck. He's looking out that back door. I'm going somewhere to church. Never seen nobody go to church as much as you do. Hallelujah. Thank God. I had one man leave the Holiness Church. Thank God. And he went to the Baptist Church. And he said, I'll never go back to the Holiness Church. I'm not throwing no stones at no denomination. Thank God. He said, I won't never go back to the Holiness Church. Thank God Brother Johnson gets on him sometimes. Hallelujah. Thank God. And we were talking about being in revival. Amen. He said, my... That man started throwing a stone. He said, my, he said, what, y'all just in revival? He said, y'all got to be the meanest people in the world. Amen. To have to go to revival and church so much like you do. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank God. Call me what you want to. Hallelujah. Amen. Scandalize my name. Thank God. Call me whatever. I've done went off the deep end. Thank God. I'm too heavenly minded. Whatever you want to call me. Thank God. But I'm glad today that when that trumpet sounds, hallelujah, and I receive that call. Hey, Amen, brother, I want to be ready. Hallelujah, don't want none of the riches and the fame and the fortune of this world to weight me down. Hallelujah, but when he calls, I want to go home. Hallelujah. Oh, glory to God. Glory to God. I found something I love. Hallelujah. Thank God that I ain't got enough of it yet. Thank God, hallelujah. Some of us act like we got all we need. Hallelujah. But my friend, if you really get in love with him, uh, you'll want more and more and more of God. You'll desire more of God. You'll want to draw close to him where he'll come close to where you are. It's more than just naming Christ, my friend. Thank God. It's a real experience and a relationship with God. The world can't understand it. They cannot comprehend it. Oh, the Bible said the world is not subject to the laws of God. Neither indeed can be. They don't know about this thing, brother. Hallelujah. But if they ever get a taste of it, amen, and they find out about Jesus, hallelujah, brother, they'll want more of him. They'll want more of him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I hadn't, I hadn't preached the surface of what I need to preach tonight. God's keeping a record. God's keeping a record. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm telling you, we name the name of Christ, saints of God, we need to live up to it. Brother, God's got to be number one. Come on, church. God's got to be number one. Amen. Now, we don't want to hear that. We don't want to hear that. But my friend, he said the first and foremost commandment of all. Hear, O Israel, thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, soul, mind, and strength. My friend, if we fail of it, that commandment, we'll not enter into the kingdom of God. we got to love him with all of our heart. Hallelujah. God's got to be number one. Hallelujah. Why are you preaching it this way, Brother Smith? Oh, amen, my friend. I was thinking, hallelujah. Our jobs come around on Monday morning, Tuesday morning, Wednesday morning. My friend, I'll tell you what. Hallelujah. We're punching the clock, making sure we're not getting docked for one minute of time. Amen. We're there on time. Hallelujah. Come on, church. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. God's keeping a record. Amen. I used to pastor a boy. Thank God. Uh, he had a sick brother. Had a sick brother at home. Amen. And it seemed like Sundays would come around. I can't, I can't go to church. I got to stay home with my sick brother. Hallelujah. 
But every Monday morning come around, just as sure as you're born, amen, he'd clock that clock. Amen, go to work. Can't go to church, though. Got to stay home with my sick brother. But leave the brother at home and go to work on Sunday, on Monday morning. Go to work Tuesday. Thank God be there faithful. But Sunday morning, come around. Amen, I got to stay home with my sick brother. Glory to God. I'm going to tell you, you look for an excuse if you want to. And I'm fixing to say something right here we might not like. Amen, thank God you look for an excuse. I'm going to tell you why you're looking for one. You don't love him like you are, too. Come on. Thank God if some of you gave your wife excuses like you give God, it wouldn't be long you wouldn't have a wife. If some of you gave, amen, your husband's excuses like you give God, it wouldn't be long you wouldn't have a husband. Amen. But because we can't see God, hallelujah, amen, that invisible God, amen, brother, uh, the Bible said his ways as far as the heavens is the earth high above our ways. Thank God, hallelujah, sometimes we pretend like he's not even there. Glory to God, hallelujah, put him up on the shelf. Amen. Oh, we'll get back to him later on. I got too many things, amen, that's got me busy. Too many things I'm a looking after. Hey, can I remind you tonight, you wouldn't have them things if it hadn't have been for God, my friend. The Lord giveth and the Lord taketh away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Thank God, don't put him on the shelf, brother. Hallelujah, make him your everything, my friend. Amen. Hallelujah. Brother Smith, ain't you got room to move up? That's why I'm preaching it. Hallelujah. I tell you tonight, amen, the greatest Holy Ghost filled person here. Brother Fletcher Smith was a great man dying on his de deathbed. He said, it feels like, brothers, there's something that I haven't yet reached that I'm still trying to reach out there and get a hold of. Amen. I believe it'll be that way till Jesus comes. Stand with me all over this church tonight. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank God. Thank God. Amen. Hallelujah. Brother Eric, can I be transparent with us tonight? I appreciate this brother right here. Amen. Great, great man. Hallelujah. I testified Sunday night. They was down here in the altar praying. I testified Sunday night. I said, them old saints got on me, stayed on my trail till I got the Holy Ghost. After I got through saying that, sister, and we dismissed service, that brother come up there to that pulpit he said brother Andrew you know how you said them saints would stay on you until you went on he said could you stay after me like that glory to God brother Eric that's what I'm doing tonight so hallelujah all of you that need the Holy Ghost all of you that need to go on and get a hold of God amen I'm preaching draw nigh to him amen as much as these things of this life that we like hallelujah how about God he should be the number one attraction in our life Amen. Seeking God. Hallelujah. The altar's open for the church tonight. Now let's come. I give you my heart. Amen. Let's seek the Lord tonight. Glory to God. Hallelujah. 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 Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Oh, blessed be your name. Blessed be your name. Blessed be your name.